Howdy folks, Will Hesse in the cabin here. Today I bring you this guitar here in Silver Sparkle. How awesome is that colour? That's why I bought it. This is the Squire Jag Master. Okay, what do we got? We got two humbuckers, we have three-way switch, volume and a tone. As the name may suggest, it's meant to be a cross between a Jaguar and a Jazz Master. Um, and that's the way they ended up when they finished their run as a Chinese made one. This is Chinese made, but this is early 2000s. Uh, also, this one um, seems to be more Jazz Master than Jaguar. So the crossover came from Jazz Master kind of body and control layout, doesn't have the little switchy thing going on here, that lead rhythm business, and a Jaguar scale length, um, so 24 inches. This one is just seems to be all Jazz Master because <laughs> we've got the styling here, but it's a normal Fender 25.5 inch scale length which is fine with me, uh, and plays really well. So this one, as I say, volume tone, three-way switch, two humbuckers I replaced. We've got some Seymour Duncans here. We've got uh, the classic JB here, and a jazz in the neck. Also on this one, we've got a hip shot D tuner for some drop D action. So, gauge 11 Diodarios. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's try some cleans first, I believe. That's not very clean. There we go, that's nice and clean. This is a bridge pickup. These pickups are so meaty, it uh, doesn't want to be clean.
And while we're here, let's try some drop D. good fun excellent so the squire jag master not in production anymore so this might be a nice second hand bargain for someone i love this guitar it's so much good fun um to recap chinese made guitar i have put some american pickups in as an upgrade i think the electronics are actually still the chinese one and they're help really holding up a uh, hip shot d tuner uh, back in the day love a bit of drop d <laughs> And it's a really cool guitar, I really love it. It's uh, really inexpensive, I think. All together, it probably cost me about £250 put together. Dollar amounts, about 300 I'm not sure. Leave a comment below, you uh, conversion people. Let me know. Um, awesome guitar, lots of fun. So it just show, goes to show you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a great guitar. Plays really well, sounds great. Uh, I'm not... Uh, lying with this statement to sound cool, but a lot of people have said... This guitar has sounded so much better than like many more expensive Gibsons that maybe I've played in the past. Uh, so I've used this on lots of recordings as well, sounds excellent, really cuts through. Um, some spec on this one, which I haven't told you about, um, it's an older body apparently. It's a little bit hard to verify because of the thick finish, um, even on the inside where the trim goes, because I've blocked this one up, locked it off. Can't really see any wood to uh, help verify that, but it's supposed to be older. Maple neck, rosewood fingerboard, and yeah, I can't recommend this guitar enough. It's really good, really good fun, especially with the upgrades there. So hopefully you found that informative. If there's anything else I've left out you want to know, please leave a comment below. Um, and like and subscribe and all that jazz. That'd be awesome, and I'll catch you next time. Happy playing. <laughs>